Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my first ever plan with me. I am planning inauguration week which was January 18th to the 24th and I'm using this kit from Scribble Prince Co. in my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Cloud Planner. Um, this double box with the snowy white house did come with the kit and then I got the fashion girl add-on and the washi strip add-on. And then I also bought these foil quotes from Kinsey's Creations, which I was obsessed with. They go along with the inauguration theme. And then I did have this star foil bundle from Scribble Prints Co., um, in silver. I did go with silver for this kit if you can't tell. I actually also purchased a lot of star foil for this kit not realizing that I had this whole foil bundle so I mainly used this foil bundle but I did pull in some other things as well that I have that I'm going to show you guys. So I did buy all of these a la carte and I'm showing you all my bougie and then this washi and then the last thing I have are just silver headers so I am so excited to be planning this week um, I was actually one of the people that was on her Facebook page commenting a bunch of ideas because I actually do live well I used to live in the city now I live five minutes away from the city across the bridge but I've lived in the DMV my whole life so I was just really excited not only for the inauguration but all the DC elements in this kit as well so I am using the solid star washi over the navy blue washi add-on strip I had and then I actually used that I bought a la carte and then I actually used just the sprinkly stars that were like mini on the other washi which was actually perfect because there's like little blue stars on it so I think it matched so well. I really love all the star elements I brought into this kit. I actually don't think I've ever used this much star foil but I think it looks really good. Um, so you guys will get to see my whole planning style and I hope you enjoy my planning style and my plan with me's. If you guys want to leave any comments down below on any suggestions or tips you have for filming a better plan with me, I worked really hard on filming, editing, and doing this voiceover. Um, so I hope it turns out well and feel free to comment down below your YouTube channel as well if you film plan with me's or planner videos. I'd love to subscribe to more people and be more into the community on the YouTube side. So feel free to comment down below and I will definitely subscribe to you. So I am just finishing up the washi here. As you can see, I do use a slice tool to cut that thicker washi in half. Um, and I kind of just stack the washies like that because I think it looks really cute like that. And then I'm going to add some glitter headers on the top. Um, I do plan with no white space, but I don't use bougie boxes. I typically use bougie headers unless I have to use a bougie box. Um, the bougie half cut headers that is from Scribble Prints Co. Um, and I just, I love the bougie, but the half cut headers are just such a more affordable option. And I really don't find it tedious at all doing it that way. I pretty, I actually really enjoy it. I know bougie boxes would be like the easier route, but this is just a way more affordable option. Um, so I'm going to start putting down my boxes. I had a really hard time deciding on which boxes to use where. I knew I wanted to use the White House Snowy box because it snowed for maybe like two minutes on Inauguration Day. Um, I was actually at work and my client's mom was like, it's snowing. And I was like, ah. Um, so because it literally snowed for two minutes and did not stick or anything, but I saw it, I used the Snowy White House um, instead of the regular White House, which I kept all the extras of this kit. I usually give away my extras. I have a whole stack on my desk of extra kits and stuff I have, which I might actually start doing giveaways on my YouTube channel. So if you think you'd be interested in that, let me know. Um, but for this kit and only this kit, I am keeping the extras just because I love this kit so much. So I'm going to finish these bougie boxes and I had a really hard time deciding which boxes I wanted to use. Um, so that's why I went and did my sidebar because usually on my sidebar I try to do like my three or two favorite boxes. And for this sidebar I actually decided on 
doing it all about women because I am so happy to have a woman vice president, especially a woman of color. Um, I am beyond thrilled. I was very emotional on inauguration day because of that. Um, and just because honestly, it feels like the nightmare is over. So I used this Asian looking girl in front of the Capitol for my first box. I knew I wanted to use her because I, I'm Asian and I thought it was a really cool box. I, I used to live like 10 minutes walking from the Capitol. So I was always there. Um, and then I did put in a, like a rectangular squared box, um, with some silver bow headers in between. I think I got these silver header headers with the bows in a rack from Scribble Prince Co. Um, and then I did use the box that says when women show up, we win with the converse. I love that box. And then I used another label because I had some more room. And then the very last box, I put our Madam Vice President. Um, and I'm so excited because I add awesome overlays over these, which just make it so much better. So that is my sidebar. Honestly, one of my favorite sidebars I've ever done. I love the woman empowerment. Um, and then I did put the Oval Office boxes on Saturday and Sunday. And I never have done two double boxes like this, but I don't think it looks that bad. I usually use the double boxes in the extender and so it like opens up to another scene um but I didn't have enough boxes for this kit to do something like that and my Wednesday was so crowded I didn't want to put a box in so yeah I don't know if that makes any sense but as you can see I do use a ruler um this is how I do my half cut headers if you are ever wondering I think I watched like Scribble Prince Co's video on how to do it it's truly not that hard I don't see like any other YouTubers that I really watch. I'm sure they're out there, but no one that I've seen does it like this. And it does take a little bit more work, but I think it's worth it. I love the bougie in the background. Um, so as you can see on Friday, I did the box with the Polaroids and like the rainbow face mask. I really love some of the Polaroid pictures. Um, I wish I could get like vinyl die cuts of these because I just, I love this kit so much. And then I also did Joe Biden's dogs on Thursday. And then you'll see on Monday, um, I did Joe Biden. So I kind of went with the Joe Biden theme across the middle of the spread. So while I finished putting down some of these boxes, I did go ahead on my Instagram at Laura Marie Plans and ask for some questions for this plan with me. I think I'm only going to get to one, maybe two, but I have extra questions for my next plan with me. So that really works out. Um, so Bear Necessities Planning asked, what was your reaction when the election was called? Um... I was so happy. I can't even explain to you. I actually was sleeping um, and we do live across the bridge and I woke up to people cheering from their apartment balconies. It was such an exciting day um, to wake up that way with just hearing other people cheering because we do live in a city. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of apartment buildings around me and just everyone on their balcony is so happy. It was honestly amazing. I was so happy. Um, I truly thought DT was going to win again um, before the election day. And so I was very, very happy. So I am going to jump back to my planner for a second just to explain what I am doing. So I am using the date covers that come with the kit, which matches the bottom washi. I love how Scribble Prints Co. does that. And then I use the date squares that came in the foil bundle um, for the numbers. And then as you will see, I do decide to use my Kinsey's Creations uh, foil quote boxes for the inauguration. And I actually only used two. Um, I would have loved to use all of them, but I feel like sometimes those overlays take away from the boxes. And I just love the boxes and the art of this kit so much that I didn't want to take away from it. But I will definitely be saving these quotes and use them in the future. So on my favorite box, which is the top left-hand corner box, I put the quote we just did over her. And I just, I think that's hilarious. I love that Joe Biden wore that hat that said that. And I was very, I, I just love that box. Um, 
And then over Kamala Harris, I did the I'm Speaking, which I watched that live. I was cracking up. I did so many TikTok sounds with her saying that. Um, and yeah, I just, I loved when she said that. So after these overlays, I put on my star header overlays, which I don't show that whole process. If you guys would like to see that, like super sped up, I can add it. Um, but I just felt like it was kind of redundant and you guys knew what I was doing. I, I show me doing like the first few, but all I do is put the foil header overlays over the colored headers. Um, and then I also go ahead and put the star overlays across the other full boxes in the spread as well. And then I also do put the weekend banner across Saturday and Sunday, the double box. I have never done this before, but I've seen other people do it and I actually really like it. And then the only other thing I do is I put my deco up at the top as well as the mini star deco and I'm finishing it there. Also, if you want to see that, let me know. Um, I just don't think it's that interesting. Um, and then I am going to get right into my plans after this. So here's the base in full before all the plans. I think it looks so good, especially with the star overlays. If you guys wanted to see more of the base with mainly the overlays and the deco part, just let me know. Um, I didn't realize how much time it took, but it just, it took a while. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the plans. And as you guys can see, I do use the half cut headers and you guys will kind of see my method of doing it. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, and I do pick up stickers a lot too, to forewarn you. So on Monday, the first thing I wanted to mark was that it was MLK Junior Day. So I used a pattern label for that. And then I do put a silver script from Scribble Prince Co that says that with a BLM Once More With Love sticker. And then the next thing I marked with just a solid piece of washi across was that I was stressed AF because I actually took a long exam this day. Oh, I guess I use a little thing, but then I think I realized what sticker I use, so I might change it later, um, but it is just a solid piece of washi. Um, but yeah, I had a long exam I had to take this day for my master's degree, and it sucked. It was a five-hour exam. I took it in three hours, but it was a nightmare, and I took it at home, luckily, because of COVID. I don't even know if that was a good thing, but I'm just, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> I have to take another one in a month or two, though, um, and then the next thing I marked was that I took my exam, which took a large majority of my day, and I just put that in a label with a foiled laptop sticker from Scribble Prince Co., and then the fourth thing I put in was that I planned, um, so I put in a Scribble Prince Co. bow and then a silver foiled planning sticker, which I think I put in later, um, but I do add that. Oh, and this is me changing the little thing with a solid piece of washi because I realized what sticker I was using, and that sticker is also from Once More With Love. And then the next thing I mark is that we had Wingstop for dinner. I used a pattern little thing, which I like to use when you can see the pattern under it, but I'm not always consistent with it. Um, so I used a takeout script from Scribble Prince Co. And the foiled food icon is also from Scribble Prince Co. And then the next thing I did was film. I think this was my last video and my first ever video, which was my... um. 2020 planner flip through. So if you have not yet watched that, go watch that and um, like and comment and do all the good things. Um, so I use a film script from Scribble Prince Co. as well as the little icon is from Scribble Prince Co. And then the next thing I mark with a pattern label is Captain America, the Winter Soldier. My fiance and I have been binging the Marvel movies um, in cinematic order, I think, um, chronological order of the Marvel universe, basically. Um, so this night we watched Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and I used the script is from Planet Hannah, um, and then the little Captain America, which I think is so cute, is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then the very last thing I marked on Monday was that I tidied up. So I used a little Once More With Love Girl with her spray bottle, and the tidy up script is also from Scribble Prince Co. Moving on to Tuesday, I worked from 10 o'clock to 1.30, so I marked that with a work label, which is included in the kit. And then I did get Starbucks, so I used the Starbucks script, which is from 
letters to Apollo with a foiled food icon from Squirrel Prince Co. And then I did have a grocery run, so I put that in a little label with a grocery cart icon and a grocery run script. And then the next thing I did was some laundry. So I used a paper and milk little Maru on her laundry machine and a laundry script. I know I'm ahead of myself, but I am definitely going to catch up because I'm going to freak out on Wednesday. <laughs> um, and then I did get some Target Happy Mail. So I recently in the new year got obsessed with wax melts. Um, so I bought a bunch of wax melts and then didn't have enough wax warmers. Um, and so my solution to that was buying like three or four of them from Target and they came two days later and I was so excited. Um, so I have been melting wax in pretty much every room. Um, I have only tried two shops. So if you know of any good wax melt shops, let me know, even though my fiance says we don't need more. Um, but I was so excited about this Target order because I had been really wanting my wax melt. So I did mark that. I don't usually mark my happy mail because I do get a lot. And then I marked that I did cook dinner that night, so I used a little label with um, the script is from Sticky Essentials, and then the little munchkin is from Once More With Love, and I don't usually cook. I do most of the cleaning, and my fiancé does most of the cooking. Um, that's just how we work best, so I like to mark when I do cook because... It is not always the case. And then the next thing I did was I organized my stickers. If you follow me on my Instagram, you kind of saw I did post about it. Um, but I did reorganize all my foil stickers for like the 50th time. I'm so sick of organizing it. Um, but it just keeps growing and growing. So I got to do what I got to do. So I used a like third box, I think. And then an organized script from Scribble Prince Co. As well as an organizing sticker munchkin from Once More With Love. And then the next thing I marked was that I tidied up again. I honestly tidy up like every day. I don't know why I only mark it some days, but I do. Um, so I used the tidy up script from Letters to Apollo and then a tidying up munchkin, which is taking out the trash. Um, not munchkin, Maru from paper and milk. And then the next thing I marked in a third pattern box uh, was that I watched Bridgerton and oh my god, it is like my favorite show ever. I know it was kind of late, like this day it was January 19th. I think people were watching it maybe like a week or two before me, um, but I was a little behind, but my fiance and I loved it. I loved it probably more than him. Um, so I do mark that with a little girl from Stick With The Plan Co. She is watching Netflix, and I just thought that was perfect. Um, I didn't buy any Bridgerton scripts just because I watched it pretty quickly, so I didn't really see the point, um, so I just wrote that in. And then the very last thing I marked was that my fiancé and I cuddled that night, so I used a pattern washi with a cuddle time script from Scribble Prince Co. and cuddling munchkins from Once More As Well. And then we move on to Wednesday. So I actually realized I wasn't recording on Wednesday, which I'm very upset about. I will definitely try and be better about that, you guys. Um, so I have to do this day really fast now so that I can catch up with my plans. I do show all of Wednesday at the end because I think I realized I didn't, wasn't filming. I don't even know. Um, but the first thing I marked was that it was inauguration day. I got a little script sampler from Kinsey's Creations, and this was the only inauguration day sticker I had, so I had to use it. And then I did go to work, and then I got Duncan, which I used a Letters to Apollo script with the Coffee Monsters Co. doodle, and then I marked that I saw Biden and Harris on the news, so I used a little patriotic munchkin. I did use a lot of munchkins from um, my 4th of July sheet, I believe, so I kind of mixed and matched from different sheets for all of my um, inauguration stickers, and then I marked that I was emotional AF with a sticker from Letters to Apollo and, like, a crying happy munchkin, and then I did FaceTime my mom, so I marked that with a Plana Hannah custom and a Once More with Love munchkin, and here it is. It's going to skip, you guys. I'm so sorry, um, and then I did, yeah, 
it skipped. So I'm going to hurry up. So I had a massage and then I saw the chiropractor. I did get McDonald's. What a good day. I got McDonald's. And then um, I did mark that it was inauguration celebration time. And you guys can kind of see it all here. Um, I'm so sorry for that, by the way. Um, and then I marked that there was people speaking. And then I marked that there was fireworks. I could hear the fireworks from where I was and see the reflection of them through other buildings, but they definitely were loud. And I was very excited when I heard them, um, with Katy Perry singing, oh my God, it was such a magical moment. And then my dog started zoomies, which is very unusual because she is almost 16 years old. So I had to mark that. And then lastly, I marked that it was a good day. And again, I'm so sorry, you guys, that that did not all show, but I will have pictures on my Instagram. Um, so make sure you go look there if you did not get a good enough view, or you can also just stop the video. Um, moving on to Thursday, I marked that I went to work and then I did have Jimmy John. So I put that on a little thing with a script from Planet Hannah and the sandwich is from Box and Cactus. And then I did have Starbucks. So I used a food little icon Starbucks cup thing from Scribble Prince Co and a Starbucks script from Station Stickers. And then I did hang out with my cousin. So I used a cute whimsical cat studio girl which I love her character stickers um to mark that and then we did have a food truck dinner because our building has like a food truck now and it is here on Thursdays so we tried it for the first time on this day we got sliders it was so good so I used a little burger foiled icon from Scribble Prince Co and then the next thing I did was I organized my stickers again. So I used a little munchkin from Once More With Love and another organized script from Scribble Prince Co. I did do more laundry. So I used another munchkin and a script from Scribble Prince Co. And then the last thing I marked was I watched Bridgerton again. I did not really get into Bridgerton, to be honest, until I think the fourth episode. And that was where I got to this night. So you'll see I finish it the next day. But but um, that's why it took me a little longer to finish. I thought the beginning was very slow for me, um, but I am going to rewatch it because I honestly didn't watch the beginning of it very well. Um, so I just marked Bridgerton with a TV icon from Scribble Prince Co. as well. And then moving on to Friday, I went to work again in the morning and then I took a mean nap. I was so tired. I don't know what I'm doing here. I like you see, it does take a bit longer with the half cut headers um, as it does like if you just use bougie boxes, but I have the patience um, and I don't know. I thought I, I think it's cool to watch this. So why not? Um, so yeah, I did take a mean nap on Friday. So I marked that in a label with a nap script from Scribble Prince Co and a munchkin being pulled out of bed, which was basically my fiance because I slept until it was like dark. Um, yeah, it wasn't very good. So I used a munchkin from Scribble Prince Co to mark that. And then I did get a smoothie. I like to get smoothies on Fridays because I don't know if Smoothie King is like across all of America or the world or anything, but it is a very big thing where I live and they have something called $5 Fridays where they're medium smoothies, which I think are like 32 ounces. I might be wrong though. Um, and they're only $5 and usually they're quite expensive. So I really like to get Smoothie King on Fridays because they are cheaper. So I used a little smoothie doodle from Once More With Love with a smoothie script from um, Station Stickers. And then the next thing I marked was that we got sushi delivery. So I marked um, that with a little food icon again from Scribble Prince Co. And I used a food delivery script from Letters to Apollo, but I cut the food part off and just left the delivery because it was kind of long. And then the next thing I mark um, for the second half of Friday was that I finished Bridgerton. So I used another stick with the Plan Co. girl and I put that in a third box. And oh my God, you guys, the ending of Bridgerton, I won't spoil anything, but it was so good. I totally saw like who I saw the ending coming um but it was so 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 good like I'm obsessed with the ending 
Um, I don't know if that's just the cancer in me, but I was so happy with the ending. And then the next thing I marked, I marked was that we watched The Challenge, which is an MTV show. I highly recommend it. It's actually so good. And my fiance and I are obsessed with it, but we don't know many other people who watch it. Um, so I really recommend it. And then the last thing I did that night was I cuddled with my fiance again. So I used a cuddle time script Bronze Girl Prince Co. and these munchkins, which are like playing, I don't even know what they're doing, but I think it's so cute. Um, I used these munchkins from Once More with Love. Um, so that was my Friday. And then moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was that we did do some hardcore family cuddles. So I used a quarter box and a family cuddle script from Scribble Prince Co. with a Once More With Love couple cuddling. And then the next thing I marked was that I got Duncan. So I used a Fox and Cactus um, little drink sticker with a Duncan script from Planna Hannah and then I did hang out with one of my friends who is actually she just got to Taiwan today for a scholarship she is super smart um so I hung out with her for our last time in like a year which is kind of crazy she's been my best friend since I mean, we were friends in elementary school, but best friends since middle school. Um, so I used another whimsical cat studio little couple holding hands um, to mark that. And then I did mark that I had a family game night. Um, I do have a older brother and an older sister. And we are all being safe with COVID. But my sister also lives on the West Coast in Mountain Time. Um me, my parents, and my brother all live closer, but we are being safe because of COVID. So we've been having family game nights over Zoom. So I just used a family game night script from Randy.plans with a munchkin with like FaceTiming her family on her computer um, to mark that. And then I did, we did watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so I marked that with Groot, which was a Once More with Love Doodle, and the Guardians of the Galaxy script is from Kinsey's Creations, and I love this movie. This was one of my favorite movies, and I feel like this is when, like, the movie started getting good, and I also just love Chris Pratt because I love Parks and Rec Chris Pratt. I love Guardians of the Galaxy Chris Pratt. Um, yeah, so... I watched Guardians of the Galaxy, and then the last thing I marked was that we got food delivery again, um, so I used a Once More With Love. The little guy is, like, on a motorcycle, and it says food delivery. I think it's so funny, and then a food delivery service script from Randy Doc Plan. So, as you guys can see there, I did use a bougie box on Saturday. I think I kind of wanted to use up the sheet, but when I use rounded boxes, like quarter boxes, it's sometimes easier to use a bougie box um then put like two headers on top of each other so I just want to point out that I do sometimes use bougie boxes especially when it will be easier for me so I do have like a stack of them um but I do try and use half cut headers whenever possible um so then moving on to Sunday the 24th I did sleep in I am not a morning person at all it is really hard for me during the weekdays to wake up so I do enjoy sleeping in some days so I marked that with a Scribble Prince Co script and a Once More with Love Munchkin and then I I did get Starbucks. Um, so I got, I used a foil icon from Squirrel Prince Co. and a letters to Apollo script. And then I did go home this day just to see my parents. So I have this custom script that says reunited with Mochi. And that's my parents one year old puppy. She turned one like the week before this. Um, so I marked that with a once more with love little munchkin holding a dog that looks kind of like mochi I love those stickers because whenever I'm reunited with her it's like crazy like she goes crazy and I'm sorry again it skipped there but at least it wasn't as big of a skip on Wednesday I forgot it to film again um and then the very last thing I marked was that I watched football which is like my favorite thing to do so I have this Maru from Paper and Milk that's a football Maru which I love she just released them and I think they're so cute and then I have these watch football custom scripts from Whimsical Plans which those are like my favorite football scripts I have so I really like to use those um, and then I did use another bougie box this day because of the first sticker I used this day, which is a family time sticker 
um, with like me and my parents basically. And I just thought the colors match very well. It's an old school sticker. Um, but I really like it. So I marked that at the top and then I marked that I got a new iPhone. My mom surprised me. Well, I ordered it in like December wanting it for Christmas and then it did not come until now. Um, but my mom was like, here, do you want your Valentine's day gift? And in it was my new iPhone 12. So that was really exciting. So I marked that with a little munchkin holding a phone and then I did bake this day. So I used another paper and milk Maru with a bake script from Kinsey's creations. And then the very last thing that I put in a pattern label was that I slept with my dog Mochi. Um, I actually brought her home this day to back to our apartment because I was going back the next day home because my dog had a vet appointment in their area. Um, so my parents let me take her for one night and I love having sleepovers with her. So I have this sleep with mochi uh, custom script from Planta Hannah and then I use this whimsical cat girl holding her dog with like a little heart. It's so cute um, to mark that. So that was my whole week in full and now I'm just doing my sidebar so I used a little wonton sticker that says steamy for president um to mark that a new president came in and then I did use a vote Maru just because I think voting is so important and you know the results of this election would not happen if would not have happened if so many people showed up um so I did use a vote Maru from paper and milk and I wrote representation matters and I do use a Pilot G2.38 pen. I was showing that earlier. And in the top left-hand corner, I have been adding my little um, monthly script. So I've been adding January to the top left-hand corner of every spread. And I honestly think it looks so good. So I am just filling out the rest of the spread here that I didn't have scripts for. I do end up putting some scripts that I had left over on the script sampler that came with that foil bundle. Um, down like that planning script. I just cut the word time off. But yeah, so I'm just filling out the rest of my spread that I didn't have scripts for uh, with my pen. And my handwriting is not the greatest, but I try my hardest to make it look good. So I pretty much just fill out the rest of the spread and then the last thing I do is I take the little star pieces of deco. Yes, this is another tedious task, but I honestly do not mind doing it. I know a lot of people find it tedious, but I do add little star pieces of deco in the little spaces of the spread and I do do this kind of thing for every spread. It's not always the stars, but I do use um, various small decos to kind of fill in the empty spaces of the spread. And I feel like it just adds such a nice touch. Um, but that is pretty much it for my plan with me. Thank you guys so, so, so much if you watched this all the way through. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I worked so hard. Um, the reason why I've been putting it off for so long is just because of honestly how much work goes into it. Like, you really don't realize until you do it all. Um, just the little things even, like my laptop not having enough storage and whatnot. Um, I really just didn't realize how much work went into it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to keep doing it if you guys do like it. So please like and comment um, and feel free to leave any suggestions or tips you guys may have. Um, I do not usually plan this way. I actually usually put down all the base stickers as in the labels and the little things and stuff. And then I do all my characters and then I do all my scripts. So I did change up my planning style for this planner or this plan with me um just so that it flowed better for the plan with me um so I hope it you know you guys couldn't tell that because I hope it seemed like I was knowing what I was doing um but I hope you guys really enjoyed this um thank you guys so much for watching and again pictures of this spread will be up when this video uploads um so go ahead and check out my Instagram at Laura Marie plans for pictures of the spread, pictures of my previous spreads. If you guys like my planning style, please follow me on both YouTube and Instagram. And um, yeah, so I'm just finishing putting up the stars. As I said, it is a very tedious task. Maybe I won't include it next time. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Seriously, guys, just comment whatever you want and I will read them and respond and will be very appreciative of your guys' thoughts, whatever they may be. Um, but yeah, this is taking a lot of the time. 
But yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much. If you guys watched this whole video, it seriously means so much to me. Um, I'm very glad Scribble Prince Co. did this kit. I really, really hope she releases some vinyls or die cuts or anything. I just love this art so, so, so much. Um, I haven't had like an art that I went like crazy over in a really long time before this one. I think the last one may have been her um January mystery of last year the with the pink drink because I love I get pink drinks like every day that's what I get from Starbucks whenever I go um if you're wondering what I get um so yeah um this is what the spread looks like up close again the wiggle and all those scripts and the foil and the character stickers and then I am going to put it in my planner if you guys have any suggestions on how to set up this baby I have no idea because I've never had a rings planner ever um so comment any shops or anything but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this and um I will see you guys next week bye